guys, welcome again to Be The Panel, a Terrace House podcast. A podcast where we talk about, you know, Terrace House, specifically boys and girls next door. Hi guys, my name is Jason, and we're back again with the full panel for this episode. So let me introduce the panel to y'all. You guys probably know who they are, but to the person oh that just saluted, let's go to Tito Sneaky himself right here. What's up, Tim? How you been? Hey guys, how's it going? Great to be back. Another episode in. Can't wow. wait to dive in. Yeah, it's gonna be a fun time. Wow, you look so different. You had like a crown last episode. Oh yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> right, yeah. I left that in the cape back back back, back in that episode. I'll have to pick it up later. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. And we have, of course, our lovely resident TikToker. At another room, as usual, we got the lovely Cheska here. Hey, Cheska. Hi, I'm currently in my apartment for school, so yeah, that's where I'm residing for the next eight months. Oh, interesting. Those are not yellow walls like we're used to. No, they're cream, I think. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> cream. Let me put it here. And it's okay. It's all good. You're in a new place. Enjoy there. And of course, we got the smooth. Oh, this guy got a new haircut? Oh my goodness. Oh, the sure. lovely. The smooth. The Mr. James. <laughs> hey, James, how you doing? Hey y'all, uh, I'm doing good, you know, just at home, chilling, been waiting to do this one, so let's we, we let's oh. hop into it. Man. Oh, let's hop into it. Okay, alright, dang, everyone is ready for this. Well, let's get started. <laughs> but before we start, we have some announcements, and I believe our boy James here got the inside scoops for exactly what it is. So James, what do you got? What do you got to tell us, you know? Yeah, uh, of course, you can now find us uh, basically wherever you can find your podcasts. You can find us on Spotify. You can find us on Anchor. You can find us basically everywhere except for Apple Music. I'm still I'm still working on that, but I, I will get there. But of course, you can find us on Spotify at We The Panel. And you can find us at anchor.fm slash we dash the dash panel. So, Jay, let's get into the episode. Let's get into Terrace House, episode 17, The Truth Behind the, the Daichi. Tears. Mean, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. That was rehearsed. Anyways, as usual, we get into the recap in terms of you got you got you and you got the lovely new person here. What's her name again? Tori Chan. Tori and they're Chan. and they're you know, they're, they're just recapping on the last episode, but they're specifically on you and Tori Chan saying that um they might be thinking that um something is up with Taechan in terms of let's say who he kind of likes or kind of thing is there but if anything what we got from there was he was not as masculine as Daiki the new person and they love the guy these new um these two people love him they they, they bring that new special flavor but uh before we talk more about Daiki let's let's start about the episode so Taechan and Daiki go to the roof and the last time we got into the roof it was basically when Taechan was stargazing with our missed friend Rechan and Taechan was just like hey yeah uh Taechan was telling um Daiki to basically say hey you guys are new you know uh, what do you think about what about uh the new girl Hana since you guys are so new why don't you guys uh go around town <laughs> and explore <laughs> basically trying to wingman the dude the new guy into maybe you know have a little something something there because they do have some kind of chemistry but after that, um, there's a lot of Daiki in this episode. Sena and Daiki meet in the kitchen, and Sena, of course, seems to be a little bit down lately. Uh, picks up a bottle, I guess she looks up into the window, <laughs> grabs a bottle of a half glass empty uh, bottle, and finishes it <laughs> at the most normal of pace. Like, it's like nothing at all. 
and both start talking about dreams and um it was interesting on how they got there so guys what do you guys think about the when uh, Sena and daiki talked about their dreams oh well just to backtrack a bit i love how like Techan just like brings uh, uh daichan up to the um to the uh roof just like i don't know it's like we've seen that roof shot so many times throughout the whole series it's kind of like a staple for like i don't know this season of uh of terrace house yeah i uh, really like the roof scene and like how like it was uh daichi's first uh daichi daiki how, how do you say his daiki. name again daiki daiki yeah daiki yeah um i liked how like yeah it was the first time up there and you got to see the view and how that like shot of the rooftop over the ocean is like uh like a staple like shot for for the series now um <laughs> Yeah, there was like a real bro moment up there. <laughs> is this like a second episode or his third? I can't remember now. Daiki? Yeah. Second. Yeah. Second episode, right? Yeah. Second episode. And I don't know. There I feel like there's a like there's already a bond between both of them. And then Techan's being like the the really cool like wingman. Like, hey, yeah. Seems like Hannah's like into you. Yeah, you guys should just go hang out, see what happens. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Chess, what do you think? Um, I feel like Taechan is now acting like Seina, Masato, Shota in terms of like being Daiki's wingman. Mm. Like he's taken that role now and now he's gonna like use all the advice that Seina, Masato, Shota, even Momo told told him and now he's gonna transfer that info to Daiki. True. Yeah. Do you think Daiki needs it though? Do you think he needs that info or does Daiki just kind of know what's up? I feel like he knows what's up, but there might be times where he'll forget, and that's where Tichan will be there to remind him and stuff. Mm. Hey, yeah. Oh, and like the whole uh, Sena and Daiki thing, I think that was like a good chance for them to bond. And you can like tell that Sena was struggling with her career. Mm. Like, you just see the dread in her face and all that other stuff. But. Mm. Yeah. Jay, what do you think? Um, you know, maybe does maybe Daiki does need the help. It's been four years since he's had a relationship. Oh yeah. Oh, that's true. He, even though he says he's used a lot of his time on being a a fighter, a kickboxer. So, and it's kind of cool seeing Taechan like try to get that like older brother role. Because I feel like since he's the new guy, Daiki's the new guy. But yeah, it's nice to see um, Taechan really take that like older brother role. Because um, yeah, Daiki's like new, right? Mm. I don't think he needs it. I don't think <laughs> I think Daiki's fine on his own. I think the fact that he's a kickboxer is already like an attractive thing. <laughs> oh yeah, you see, right? yeah, you see that. You but see um, that. yeah, it's kind of concerning that like Sena's really like in a rut. And, you know, like, when she said about her dreams, like, and compared to, like, what Daiki's um, dream is, like, the title match, is like, man, Sena's, like, kind of lost, in a sense. But I think we'll talk more about that because on maybe why she's lost. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, what do you think, James? <laughs> <laughs> I just I just wanted to take a quick second to to highlight um, a big thing about Sena. Uh, earlier in, it was either earlier this season or, like, earlier last season, where I think Jay brought up the fact that, like, when it came to Sena's drinking, and he was like, and I think Jay was like, oh, yeah, the way that she pours her wine is so elegant and it's so nice and so beautiful. And then you go to this episode and you see this girl just grabbing the bottom of the bottle being like, there it goes. <laughs> We're doing it. Like, so it's like you can tell that she's definitely in a rut. And mm -hmm. yeah, the whole thing about her, like, and Daiki talking about like their futures and stuff like that, like, that is definitely a big like for daiki it's a big feeling out process because you know like he's only been there maybe like a week week and a half um so yeah so he's still he's still yet to kind of like feel out everyone there so that was definitely like a feeling out process type of scene for him and it was good it, it seems like he's gonna mesh well with the group um when it came to him and Taechan kind of talking about like what he's gonna do with hana like yeah it just it just felt very like comfortable 
So I have very high hopes for Daiki when it comes to being in a house, I guess. But yeah, Jay, let's move on to the next scene. Of oh, course. Of course. Oh, yes. Here. Oh. So with Masato, you instantly had like a scummy feeling about him, like when he came into the house. Mm -hmm. Any red flags with Daiki so far? Anything you think like he's he's genuine with with everything that he's saying so far, or uh, I don't know. Any yeah, anything uh, pop out to you? I mean, nothing obvious to me like i feel like with daiki i think i need a few more episodes to like mm. scope him out i guess yeah with misato like i guess i could i think his scumminess was like more obvious to me <laughs> so <laughs> okay <laughs> word yeah I, I give me a few more episodes and i'll tell you about daiki all right i don't trust him <laughs> oh really you don't yeah. trust him at all like i think he's a great guy but like i think hana had said it the best i like bad boys and she's gravitated to the guy so much oh. 1.8 times speaking of 1.8 <laughs> no, times, times that's what she said when she was at work oh wait no uh but yeah like 1.8 times man like she's been like saying it over and over and it's like okay what why didn't you say two times? Like, Yo, is why pushing is it too much? specific number? Yeah, it's not mm -hmm. double what she expected. Yeah, yeah, so I don't trust the dude. I don't know. Something's up. He's too nice. <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> speaking. <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. Dude, Actually, you yeah, see, yeah. You can say the same thing for Taechan and you don't think he's gummy. Oh, because we've seen him like for like how many episodes now? <laughs> Like, it's, it's the fact that I've, yeah exactly so the fact that i've only seen daiki once so like maybe i need more but like that's my first thing like i don't know it's too good to be true but then again i don't know i don't know but speaking of daiki we saw him work out <laughs> we saw him work out we finally saw him like you know instead of being the instructor like doing his drills it was kind of sexy <laughs> <laughs> it's very impressive <laughs> and to the music of lincoln park so uh, somewhere i belong uh, sorry i don't want to get demonetized oh, but <laughs> that's fine it was like two seconds so we'll be oh fine. my we'll goodness we can fight it, we can fight it, it was so good it's just intense like he was sweating buckets and uh yeah that was a good montage of him seeing him in the job then after that we got to see him talk to the president of the gym or the dojo i guess his name was let me see here takashi takashi ito and he had like a good cute conversation about like hey how's the house everything like that and <laughs> daiki's like you know it's been good i've been getting close with a lot of more um the people there even though it's been a short time and you know for some reason i feel like every time they talk to their boss it's like you should bring your guests at your workplace I feel like that's a common thing. Free advertising. Man. Yeah, yeah. Free advertising. And he's like, have you gotten close? And he's like, I've gotten close with everyone. And basically just uh, talking to the guy saying, hey, remember your title match. Um, make sure, um, you know, even though this is great for you, it's a great experience. Remember what's ahead of you, which is what you really want, your title match. So you better be focused. Probably and it seemed like Daiki understands that. Then after that, speaking of more work, um we get to our beautiful hana and she is i'm seeing tim right now i said beautiful hana mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh she goes um. at her job and of course we hear her say again to her makeup artist while she's getting her um makeup done and everything they're talking about Very like good. ooh yeah daiki's kind of cute like Point eight, yeah. Exactly. Eight. <laughs> we didn't even need to say it. We already know. Because <laughs> she's been, like, really on that. One point eight. one statistic, eight. specifically 1.8 times hotter than what yeah. she expected. But it's really cool. Like, um, what do you guys think about, like, seeing them in, like, the field? Like, we finally get to see, like, you know, more into Daiki's job. And it's a different aspect to Hana because we usually just see her model. But now she's just, like, you know, the back of like the behind the scenes of modeling, I guess. What do you guys think about that? Love seeing like Daiki's training scenes. I don't know. It's just like, for me, it's like watching an action movie or Kung Fu movie, seeing someone like, 
I don't know, go at it like in the gym makes me motivated to do it. But you know, like at the same time, like, I like Uber Eats <laughs> and scooping dishes. Oh, what? I'm, like, oh, oh. Motivating and like, yeah, like I don't know. Those two, two sides of the spectrum. Sorry, that was cr- kind of random. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, and then I feel like 1.8 has a significance in Hana's mind. It's like, maybe I'm reading too much into this, but he's much more than what she expected, but he she doesn't want to even, like, in her mind, give the satisfaction she's tw- he's twice as good as what she expected. Like, it's like, she's, he's close, he's, he's a lot better, but he's not there. I'm not giving him, like, all the power, so to speak. You know what I mean? It's like, whenever she talks about her feelings to, like, Daiki and all, uh, to with, uh, about Daiki to, uh, Sena... She's saying like, um, ah, oh, shit. What was it? Uh, 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 that she kind of shies away from from like going all out, right? So like, I think at fully admitting that he's twice as good. I don't know. So you think he's she's downplaying him because she she's like too proud to say she's twice as good as yeah, you know. Yeah, that's exactly so it. So one point eight is like the play- safest number. Yeah, she's downplaying it because if she admits it's double, then like. Oh, I guess it becomes like real. I don't know. I don't know how her mind works, but <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, I get that. No, I get that. But yeah, yeah. Like she's really trying to put a realistic number about it. <laughs> mm. mm-hmm. Without, without not trying to oversell the fact, because at the same time she's being recorded, and then maybe she doesn't want to admit it because, oh, what if Daiki sees it? I don't want to say he's double. I want to just let him know he's just like you know, one point eight. You know. You know, not cashing all her chips in. She's playing mind games here. Oh, oh she, so she plays I the game. Know. Yeah, I think she's playing the game. <laughs> I don't, not just her, but also Sena, but we'll get to that later. We'll get to that. <laughs> I don't know. That, like, one point eight thing, like, I thought it was funny at first, but, like, the fact that she keeps using it makes me question, like, some things about her character. <laughs> Word. Well, it's like, okay, why is such a specific number? Like, can you do one point five? If like, if it's not that great, or like, that's too low. Exactly, she's not expressing well, enough interest. Yeah, like, I don't get it. It's a safe number. It's like, it's like he's so attractive and a little bit. So that's like a one point five. But for Hana, it's like he's just more than a little bit. You know, mm. it's point add thirty to that, <laughs> or the middle of five and the full number. <laughs> She's literally not even rounding up. She's like point seven nine. I don't know. We'll see. I feel like we're we're, we're definitely going too far into it. You know? <laughs> like it's just the number, y'all. At the end of the day, she I just know. thinks he's hot. Nah, exactly, not- that is yeah, true. Yeah, so like true. that's why I'm like, why are you using a number? Because she's just trying to be funny, man. I don't know. I don't think it's. <laughs> she's I don't think it's her trying to be funny. I don't that's, think that's just so. her. She's just weird. Like, like she could say he's like twice as hot, but I feel like you know the. Fa- just the the plain fact that we've been talking about this number 1.8 for the past couple of minutes that like like if she said he's twice as hot as she thought he'd be twice is not as memorable you know but at the end of the day i think what she's really trying to say is that she just finds him attractive but she's using the number 1.8 because it's something that's more memorable oh facts b facts and now we're she's also, in Daiki's just, head. And we're, 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 just, like, we're just going too far into it. In my opinion. <laughs> that's we're that's true. Too far that's true. We should move on. We should move on. Because um, I like this next scene after. Um, but yeah. Anything else with that? I feel like that's it. Yeah. Um, okay. Hey, man. I'm 1.8 times more excited for this next part. Oh, my goodness. Oh. <laughs> Here it is. So next scene... <laughs> Uh, so the next scene, we basically have Momo, Sena, and Taechan, you know, in the kitchen. Oh, no, in the living room. And Momo brings up, oh, I don't know, Shota's art exhibit. Oh. <laughs> it's coming up. And 
the gang realizes, hey, you know, we should uh, we should uh, come to the art exhibit and surprise him like how he surprised us not saying goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. yeah, Sana took it to like, yeah, freaking guy. Like, <laughs> we should. <laughs> like, they really felt a personal note, which is like, yeah. They, like, even though like his intention was not to like really hurt them, it did bother the girls, right? Oh, yeah. Like, visibly. Mm-hmm. And it's like, okay. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, no. I think it's justified. I believe it's justified. True. And after that, True. they're talking about some curry, and we get a little bit of a competition with Momo and Teichan. Momo saying like, "Oh, I ate curry." It was like you know, level five spiciness. More about numbers, guys. Five level five <laughs> spiciness. <laughs> and of course, as usual. I'm not surprised. Taechan didn't even eat the curry. <laughs> and he said, basically, he's like, I like mild. Or he got mild or something like that. And Sana's like, yeah, of course you got mild. Yeah, I see that, Taechan. I'm like, damn. Oh, shot. <laughs> then, you know, Taechan got a little fired up because he was getting, like, mocked. Saying, like, you, Taechan, spicy food? Yeah, yeah, right. Then he went all, like... Let's have a contest <laughs> to eat spicy food. Now, I hope this happens because it's I like would honestly it. it wasn't talked to the rest of the episode, but it feels like maybe in a future episode, it's like a spice off. So that would be really cool. But yeah, then what else happened? Oh, right. Then at 1 a.m. the same night when everyone else was taking a little sleep, Daiki comes home. Oh, tired from work, I guess. And Hana is up in the kitchen, just, you know, talking. And they find each other, you know, talking once again. And finally, Daiki takes uh, Teichan's suggestion and he asks her out to explore. Where are they? Shonan? But like, you know, explore the area because they're new. What do you guys think about that and how he did it? And uh, yeah, the previous scene with the art exhibit. Slick. He was slick with it. <laughs> no, yeah. no, no, uh, like complete 180 from Taechan. No rehearsal needed. No, like, <laughs> like he just knew. It's like, all right, yeah, let's just to hang out tomorrow. I love how they match. I love how like when they go out and about, they both wear like the the fitteds. It's cute. Yeah. It's really cute. I'm not sure if it's coordinated at all, but like, yeah, or like maybe the producers have a hand in that. But yeah, I don't know. But yeah, it's it really cute. True. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I <laughs> sense obviously uh, Momo and Sena are like still petty about Shota leaving without saying goodbye, which I get because like I would be upset if like someone says goodbye or doesn't say goodbye to me for no reason, you know. But yeah, I feel like they're gonna be petty until they see Shota, and then they'll be fine right after that. Um, and yeah, Daiki is smooth. Like, he didn't need <laughs> any rehearsal time. He's just straight up, let's hang out. And like, it worked out. So, yeah. Well, but you, James, what do you think? Well, what <laughs> I just say, okay, oh, God. May, may I just say, I loved everything about. The, the scene with Sena, Teichan, and Momo because it's just like they have such good chemistry at this point like you know they've been together for 16 and a half episodes at this point and like you can tell like they're so chill with each other they're so comfortable with each other like they're really just like when they talk like like there are no boundaries they're really just kind of like talking they're just joking around and like i loved i loved it i loved everything about that everything about momo and uh, techan talking about the curry and the spice like i i hope that that happens too that'd be really funny like i hope like the episode is titled like the spice oh, or something. oh <laughs> it's like a shokugeki <laughs> yeah <laughs> Yeah. Shout out to yeah. all our Food Wars fans yeah. out there. Oh man, that'd be cool. <laughs> uh, yeah, but um, yeah, it was it, it was really nice. Um, and once again, 
I feel like we're going a little too far into this whole <laughs> them being petty to Shota. Like, I feel like it's, like, as Cheska said, like, it's going to be one of those things where it's like, they'll be petty until they actually see him. And then yeah. when they get there, they're just going to be happy that they see him. Mm-hmm. But I also feel like, because I'm pretty sure they were, like, laughing through the entire conversation, especially when it came to that part. So it was like, it was a joke. Yeah. It was yeah. A oh, yeah. It was, it was a Shota style joke, you know? So. <laughs> I feel like we went a little too far into it, but like for that scene, I loved it. Everything just felt so natural. Like Daiki doesn't beat around the bush. He kind of just he just goes for it, and he just went for it, and it was good. And those those two scenes, great scenes to me. I agree. That yeah, you're right. The chemistry is so like you don't see that a lot in Terrace House. Like I guess because maybe like you know in other future seasons like i guess they don't have enough time to gel or when they do it's not enough of those scenes and it's like now it's just like it's it's such a little scene but it was so good like it doesn't have to be an event like compared to like other like episodes where it's like oh yeah i'm gonna go surf or i'm gonna go to on like a like a date like it was such a like oh, i'm glad they just added that yeah yeah it made them feel more human instead of like making more staged so yeah that's what i mean mm-hmm. but uh yeah moving on we got the next scene and um got some Sena. you see her um i believe it was her manager or a company that she works for and they get into like a conversation stating that um the guy said to Sena, hey um you were crying earlier is everything okay mm. and you could clearly see Sena was trying to like you know put a tough face on but she can't do it at this point everyone knows that she's clearly in a rut and she finally mm. talks out like yeah i was crying things are a bit overwhelming but because of that the manager had some great news if you guys remember um the company glitter was that the same company where she had to show like her like Tumblr face, <laughs> her Tumblr. Oh, yeah. the, first one, the first one where they like, like totally her, ripped her apart. And her first bot, yeah, one. her first bot yeah. interview. Yeah. Turns out, Glitter's interested in her again, maybe having a work, uh, you know, a gig with them. So that brings up like you know some opportunity for Sena. You could clearly see her like, <gasps> yeah, <laughs> like there is something or like that really put her in a positive aspect. So that was really good. But yeah, then after that, some interesting uh, headlines. At first, when I saw it, I thought he was reading Yahoo News, but I guess it's like <laughs> something else. I don't know. And yeah, a bunch of headlines, yeah. And you see um, Teachan just like, you know, reading Yahoo News or whatever. <laughs> and the thing that pops up to me the most is the headline Is Masato and Sena dating? Hmm. Oh. Now, remember, guys, Masato left a while ago, but interesting that they put that recently. At first, I was kind of confused, but like, this this is kind of late, like <laughs> like the headlines, but I guess it was pretty recent. So that's on me. But yeah, what do you guys think about that? You know, Sena having, you know, a bounce back, maybe. And is she or is she not dating Masato based on those headlines? So, what I was talking about previously, about, I don't know, playing the game, I feel like maybe Sena's breakdown, like, is genuine, and like, or was genuine, she broke down on camera, and she's crying about it, but like, I don't know, part of me, like, the cynical part in my mind thinks it's like, oh, okay, well, like, I'm not the only one watching this people who I work with watch this, Pe- like, future people who would want to empor- employ me watch this. So if, like, they see, like, this performance and how dedicated I am to, like, wanting to become a model and, like, I don't know, just kind of builds her brand, puts her out there, gets her camera time, and then, boom, like, her boss, was that her boss or was that, like, an interviewer or? I felt like, like I don't know, I felt like a manager or, like, she's, or like an agent, yeah. yeah, an agent or something, yeah, yeah there we go. Right? It's like, hey, yeah, like. Yeah. Um, I mean, I saw it coming with Masato and Zena. Like, I thought it would happen on the show when they were living together, but unfortunately it didn't happen. <laughs> but now it's happening. Possibly. They didn't confirm it, but um, I hope it, like, officially happens because I think those two would work well in a sense in terms of dating. Like, I don't know how long it would last, but it would work. 
Um, yeah, with Sena, um, crying a lot. I don't think it's like a PR stunt. <laughs> mm-hmm. I really don't think it is. I think it was genuine. Mm-hmm. And like, I don't think Sena has the acting skills to like <laughs> ball her eyes out. Hot not take. Not a jab, <laughs> Hot not take. A jab to her. It's not a job to her, but like, you need like years of acting training to like actually ball your eyes out and like look like you're you know well, like because uh, like, you can have like maybe like a minimum training to probably have like a few tears falling down your your face but i think in terms of like sobbing i think you need a lot of training so, yeah, I think Sena was being genuine when she broke down last episode. And, yeah, I'm glad she got a second chance with um, Glitter. So let's see how that works. <laughs> True. What do you think, James? Uh, Yeah, basically, okay, not the same thing. But, like, yeah, <laughs> it, it's, it's good. I feel like this is where we got to see, like, a bit of a turn for her in terms of, like, career-wise. Like, I feel like at this point we kind of understand why she's been crying very often and that it's not just work mm. but when no. it ca- when it comes to work this is a good <laughs> turn point for her in her career she gets to go back to the com- to the magazine that's kind of been wanting her uh or that she's wanted for a little while she gets to go back to that which is good um yeah it's 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 just it's just good for her when it comes to when it comes to the whole like terrace house news and stuff like that and when it comes to like the whole headline thing with Masato and Sena dating uh it, it gives us a reminder that you know this show isn't completely scripted you know like it is still at the end of the day six or at least at this point five people living in a house together mm-hmm. and they they have their own lives outside of what we see and in the actual headline itself it said that Masato and Sena were at Forever 21. Mm. And that's where people found them. And they're like, oh my gosh, Sena and Masato shook my hand. Whoa. So it's like, yeah, like they have lives and they can still talk to people even after they leave the house. So yeah, that's that's a thing. Are they dating? Who knows? Maybe we'll find out. Maybe we won't. But I don't know. No, I don't better. Know. I don't know. <laughs> we I think we get better by now. <laughs> it's good though. Things are starting to spice up again. You know, we're having some, uh, you know, love quadrilaterals, triangles. No, it's just <laughs> things are getting spicy. It's been a while, guys. It's been a yeah, yeah. Felt like Christmas was a rut too, but now January, get feeling good. Speaking of you know little little dates here, um, finally we get the scene of. Daiki and Hana exploring Shonan, I believe, or basically, um, they're exploring Enoshima. I'm so sorry if I butchered it, <laughs> but uh, yeah, we finally get to see them together. You know, enjoying it and like, like, and how did it go? Basically, um, just to remember, Hana's last relationship has been six months, and Daiki last four years ago. And I feel like the best way to encapsulate the whole date was how Momo said it later. Good vibes. <laughs> Good vibes. Good vibes. So they start off, you know, they go in on a little car ride. And, you know, I think who someone someone said, hey, uh, I want to eat French toast. I don't know. That's pretty random for me. So, <laughs> But the fact that I think the other person said, I want to eat French toast too. Whoa. How surprising and yeah there was like a conversation where it's like daiki's like yeah i was with myself there before but now i get to be my true self so that got me thinking like can't trust this dude he's just off a show oh, but yeah. i'm playing <laughs> but i'm playing there he's just doing that it's just it's really good chemistry with like what they have for hana and um daiki but yeah they go to uh they go eat breakfast or they eat french toast they literally eat french toast and it was really good and they're saying like, wow, I wish all the other people can eat it and everything like that. And then you get cut to a small scene with, um, I felt like it was really like pushed in, like Taechan and Momo. Just like Taechan's reading like, I don't know. What was he reading? Like, 
I don't know, random stuff, some, right? Yeah, some newspaper or whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And basically, it was just like a quick conversation, like, oh, where's everyone? Like, Momo asked, like, hey, where's everyone? It's like, oh, Sina's out. Um, Daiki and um, Hana are on, a, I think that's when it's like a date, right? Because at first, like, they were just hanging out, but now it's like an official date. So that was cute. Then after that, they go to a shrine and it was like really like a lot of stairs. Then they got their fortunes um told and guess who got the average luck? Hana. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and, uh, no. and Daiki, of course, he got the very good luck. <laughs> and he said, and they literally said, all your dreams will come true in his fortune. I was like, wow, I wonder what his dreams are. Well, we already know when that title match. <laughs> Is that a premonition? Is that foreshadowing? No, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. Oh. I don't know. And like, what else happened? Oh, right. And you know how they ended off. If I missed anything, let me know. But how they ended it off. They were watching it, the sunset by the beach. Just the two of them enjoying the view, and I—I I think was it um Daiki said it smooth guy. He's like, oh, we should take a picture to remember the this time because of the mm. waves and everything. It's like <laughs> smooth. <laughs> Drove in, like that was perfect. That was perfect. And of course, I was like, yeah, of course. He takes a nice picture beside you know. Take, it was cute. It was cute. Um, but yeah, uh, I feel like whew, there was a lot of energy because I was really excited for that part. Just like, what do you guys think? <laughs> that was, anything that I missed, please let me know because that was a lot. Like, that was a fun-filled date. Now, do you guys remember the last time that we saw two members at a sunset at a beach? Stop, Jake! <laughs> Are we going back? <laughs> but hold on, hold on. No. Stop. <laughs> but my heart skipped. Uh, for 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 uh, for, uh, for our Spotify listeners, um, what James did just there was he slowly brought his hands together and pulled them apart in reference to <laughs> the cringy moment between uh, Arie and and Peichan last on the beach. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> and notice <laughs> that that didn't happen here. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Wait, did they hold hands? They didn't. No. Right? No, no, no. No. Okay. no. no but no, no. but just it just it felt like I felt like that kind of encapsulated the entire date, you know? Like it was so mm -hmm. like it was very free flowing and it was like there's a lot of chemistry there. You can tell that like they they're on the same wavelength. Even when it came to like the car, because what exactly what happened in the car was that as Ducky was driving, he was like, Hey, are you in the mood for something sweet? And then Han was like, Oh my gosh, yeah, I am in the mood for something sweet. Oh my gosh, I was thinking about it since last night. And he's like, Oh yeah, so you probably want like French toast, right? And she's like, Oh my gosh, yeah, I've been wanting French toast. Oh, it's so wild. You can tell that <laughs> Hana is like <laughs> I'm down to do anything. <laughs> You can really tell that, like, Hana is, like, in Daiki's hand. Like, she, like, I don't know, like, they're, like, Hana wanted to find love, and she's really trying to make it happen with Daiki, you know? But the date, the date was good. It was, they, they went up some stairs, they did the whole shrine thing. It looked like a lot of fun for them, at least. Uh, at the cafe, they seemed to really enjoy some fancy French toast. <laughs> and then and then they took a they took a 2013 style selfie where there's a lot of backlight from the sun you know <laughs> poor Daiki his face was covered by the sun <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah but but it was it was good times all around mm -hmm. good, good vibes there it is good, there it is. good vibes I didn't say it Momo Chan said it <laughs> <laughs> yeah I think for this date it was less forced when if you compare it to Taejan and Rie, like you can tell that they were forcing this relationship to happen. But with Daiki and Hana, at least it was like as James said, free flowing. Like they're just like going with whatever's gonna happen through today and it turned out really well. 
And like with the French toast, that's a lot of whipped cream for French toast. All sugar. Oh. It's all sugar. Love it. But yeah, I really like them on a date. So yeah, how about you, Tim? They just really hit it off. Like, I don't know. It just feels like a really nice match. Like they dress the same. They, they're able to like, I don't know, just like they're both outgoing people. I feel like they're both extroverts. One's a fighter, mm-hmm. one's a model, so I feel like they both like are like kind of out there. Um, and then like, I feel like it's part of like the the cinematography, but like, anytime there's like a moment where Hana looks at Daiki, they kind of like zoom in, and she kind of has like these like, I don't know, this look about her, these puppy dog eyes, there's something. There's <laughs> like, I feel like it's definitely intentional by the people who are like recording and editing and. Rec- and like producing mm-hmm. this, mm-hmm. yeah, it's really cute. I hope they work out. <laughs> I'm rooting for them. <laughs> now I got a question because uh, it's about Hana's uh, fashion. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh. the, the ga- Garu modeling. No, yeah. not even. I. How many hats do you think Hana has? <laughs> uh yeah, a lot. A 2013 a amounts worth. Yes. <laughs> We have a hat that says chic <laughs> from the last episode. Now she has a hat saying hello, but it's a white hat, which I kind of oh. want, which is kind of funny. You're like, I want a hat that says hello. Honestly, that'd be a really good dad hat. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, it's such a friendly vibe. And like, I feel like she has like, yeah, maybe 10 hats. <laughs> But like, I don't know. I like that. I just like the fact that she has a hat that says hello. <laughs> <laughs> and and do you think they were matching? Or no, do you think it was kind of planned? Because, you know, before they were like, oh, they're kind of matching. But now, like, it's complimentary because, like, he has a black hat. And now she has a white hat. Uh, <laughs> I don't just... think that was planned. I don't think that was planned. The hats, it was, like, unintentional. They ended up matching for some reason. <laughs> yeah. I guess I guess they're just naturally compatible <laughs> in oh. terms of their fashion and everything else you've seen so far. They're pretty cute. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they are. Yeah, but yeah. All right. After that date, uh, we get a little uh, confront not a confrontation, but I guess Tichon. We got our boy, little Tichon here, talks to our our I guess our friend Sena. <laughs> And he, Teichan kind of asks, Hey, Saina, I saw these tabloids saying that maybe you guys in Masato dating. And we find out that Saina frequently sees Masato, even though he's gone from the show. Which begs us the question, he left the show because he had to go to work. Or he had to go overseas for work. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> and as much... <laughs> As I want to defend the dude, it's very Masato. Because Sena literally said, Oh, so he's picking up jobs here from there, but he's leaving in February. His original plan was to leave at the beginning of January. Mm. Classic Masato. <laughs> he's slack a lack. You cannot write this, man. <laughs> Because we all thought he left, right? But no, they're mm-hmm. like, you know, they're seeing each other off screen. And yeah, she um she tells Teichan that ever since he left the house, it's been different. And she kind of, I was kind of cute of like saying that because she's kind of like, you know, because we did kiss. <laughs> Word. But, uh, yeah. What do you guys think about that? Because I I know it's like a small scene, but like, wow, that's I did who would have thunk? I don't know. Here's okay. Here's my thing. Do you think Masato will ever leave? Because I don't think he will. <laughs> <laughs> I think like he's ever- gonna keep delaying it and just ends up staying in Japan for the rest of his life. <laughs> Even when that- he's not in the house, <laughs> he's still in the house. <laughs> he's he's the guy that's like, who is this? Oh, that's my boyfriend. I'm like, he doesn't live here. Why is he in his life? <laughs> I see him every day. Uh, 
but uh yeah yeah i don't think he's gonna leave like i don't think he's leaving japan anytime soon <laughs> uh how about you guys what do you think is he gonna leave or not <laughs> Uh, Tim. The fact that y'all are silent kind of says a lot. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't like. Hmm. I feel like now maybe it was like an excuse to get out of the house. I don't know. Maybe there's a lot of baggage that comes with being on camera like the whole time, and then your friends and family get to see what you're up to constantly, and like. You get to see how well you're doing and also how poorly you're doing. So maybe he doesn't want his failures televised. And maybe that's mm. why he left. But also maybe that's why he's also been putting off going to America. Cause oh, like, yeah. Because, like, what if I go and I screw up and I don't amount to being a good surfer? <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, Take yeah. your time. Take your time. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, so um, I feel like, yeah, he, he might leave, but just not at the pace he said he was. I think he just wanted to get it off camera earlier. Mm. Wait, here's another question. Mm -hmm. Do you think he's staying because of Sena? <laughs> huh. <laughs> hmm. No, I think he's legit. Are they like... dating, though? Are they dating? I don't know. Not yet. Confirmed. I don't know. No. That's not confirmed. But I don't think it's because of Sena. I think he's legitly like contemplating his career like i don't think i could be good enough for being a surfer <laughs> so that's why he's picking up like different ends of jobs and i think the pressure of him being on tv you're right Tim. it does carry a lot of package mm -hmm. like you can only take so much of that social um aspect of it right like the publicity of it so it's like yeah i think he just needed to you know because he has a chill personality to take a chill out of this spotlight you know word <laughs> I broke James. I Word. got him. <laughs> what do you think, James? I just had to take a second and step back. Because, <laughs> my goodness, that was... <laughs> but, um... But, no, it's... I don't know. Masato's a... He's 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 a character. He's he's quite the character. Um, I don't know. I feel like we're gonna see a lot of Masato in the times to come because it seems like the main storyline right now is Sena and Masato, even though Masato's not even in the house. <laughs> but because he's part of the main storyline, we have to see him, right? So. <sighs> Yeah, that's 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 all I got, man. Masato's been gone for like full five five episodes now, and yet he's still here. We thought we'd be over him, but he still keeps coming back to us. He just like lingers. He's like a wave. You see, like it's just you know, like always waving. What? <laughs> Where was that going? Okay. All right. Just because you made the motion doesn't mean we'll get it to. <laughs> let's wait. You know. we let's going. wave to the to the next scene. <laughs> and I think I believe James loves this scene because you know our boy is back. Yeah. Yay! Shota finally in this art exhibition or exhibit, we we finally got the scene where he's like, "This is my art," and I kind of wish he explained more of it. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> we still don't know what it really is, other than it's a religious project or like an aspect to it. But or a sack. Yeah, well, we'll get to it. Maybe I don't know anymore because it carries <laughs> stuff. Because I like... don't know. I guess. <laughs> But more importantly, it was such a like a cool reaction because Shota was surprised. Three uh, the three original members, Sena, Momo, and Teichan, visit him in his art exhibition, and he's like, "Oh!" as like a very Shota genuine reaction. Oh, you guys came! <laughs> or, hey, you guys are here! And I think one of the first first uh, first thing that Sena said, "You're such a heartless person." <laughs> <laughs> 
it was so good because it's like that is like for people out of context that's such a harsh thing to say but like no it makes sense with that chemistry of group of people that's such a mm-hmm. shota joke and it's like oh a jab jab here and there and of course shota <laughs> says back is like well i really appreciate it appreciated your tears it's like oh that's kind of nice oh then mom was like what about my tears <laughs> <laughs> it's like oh you cry all the time so it wasn't really you know didn't <laughs> it didn't mean really as much. much i was like damn but i was like it was so good and like yeah like he showed his eyes like wow made out of clay <laughs> <laughs> i was like oh i really wish that he explained more but um yeah so they're having a great time then uh cena has a little side conversation with chota and saying Hey, uh, what are you doing after this? Like, oh, I'm gonna go back home. And Cena asks, "You want to have dinner?" And what I thought she said, dinner with like the friends, but it was actually just dinner for two. Mm-hmm. So the next scene after that is Cena is basically, you know, having a nice dinner with um, Shota, and she expresses her feelings of how she's feeling about like I guess why she's so sad and we learn to find out she is having trouble dealing with her emotions because she likes Masato <laughs> what? What? what really no the way I didn't see that heck? coming at all <laughs> and as classic Shota he said <laughs> so slow took you long enough <laughs> <laughs> And then we get to hear that laugh that we've missed for so many episodes. Aww. Oh, yes, that is true. <laughs> like, took you uh, long enough. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Too long. <laughs> and it took Sena, like, a quite some time to say, I like Masato. Because even Shots is like, what? What is it? <laughs> <laughs> What's the big deal? And exactly. Like, oh. And we learned to find out, like, hey, um, there was a gift that Sena gave for Masato. It was her headset. And that was, like, when Shota, I guess, realized, hey, there's something more between these two other than, you know, they hang out a lot. But now Sena's, like, you know, in a, like, kind of confused on what she wants to do with these, like, you know, discovered feelings for Masato because she He's leaving in February. And she doesn't know how to deal with it. Either, you know, like, you know, profess the love to the guy. And, like, yeah. What do you guys think about that last scene? Because that was spicy. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, it literally took her long enough. We could tell that she had feelings for Masato. Yeah. Ever since they kissed. She just tried to hide it. So, yeah. I don't know. Like, it's kind of funny how Shota was being Shota <laughs> throughout the whole entire thing. Yeah, missed that. <laughs> missed that a lot. Yeah. It's one of those things where, like, it's... You ever have, like, in your friend circles, like, oh, you know, like, those two are definitely hitting it off, but they both don't know it, but everybody else knows it? I feel like it's that exact scenario. Yeah. Do you think Taechan knew? <laughs> okay, but okay, I... Taechan, okay, Taechan is like <laughs> oblivious to almost everything, so probably not. I love my baby boy, but I feel like sometimes he just can't read social cues or like any <laughs> like hints whatsoever. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what do you think, James? Because uh, your boy's back. <laughs> so, oh, sorry though, no girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> or no, no, no fiance. Yeah, no fiance. Yeah, no fiance. Why was she not at his art exhibition? Maybe she was, and then Shota was like, "Okay, I gotta have dinner with Sena." So then she went home. Oh, how does that conversation happen with Taechan and Momo? Hey, yeah, we're gonna go get dinner. You two can just like. <laughs> go home. Yeah. <laughs> I think that was, that was. I think that was straight up how she did it. She was like, "Hey." Me and Shota are gonna go get dinner. Y'all can go home. And then Taechan was probably like, oh. And then Momo was like, oh, okay, sure. Momo probably knows. Like, they probably talk, like, girl talk, you know, at the background. So it's like, okay, yeah, go. I'm not. And Sina's probably like, I don't wanna really say it to. Well, she already kinda said it already, cause Taechan kinda, you know, confronted her already. Yeah, Yeah, yeah. So I think it's just like, she needed, like, a different perspective, because, yeah, this was troubling her. Mm hmm. 
But yeah, like when it came to her telling Shota, it was really interesting because during the scene, when that actually happened, like after he said so slow, it took you long enough. Uh, I don't know, they, they kept kind of talking about it. And then Shota was like, hey, honestly, I'm genuinely surprised. And I was like, <laughs> huh? Are you, really, <laughs> are you really? Like, come on. <laughs> Please explain all of that, Shota. <laughs> Yeah, but it was good. Like, Shota suggested to do the proper send off. And, like, yeah, I agree. Like, if mm -hmm. you want to close this book, then you got to do it. Like, you got to make some effort to close that book, or else that's mm -hmm. just going to stay lingering in your mind for however long you're still at the house and after. So, I, th I thought mm -hmm. it was pretty good. My boy Shota gave some good advice, as he always does, you know? So, there it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> If you want to uh, close this book, you got to burn down a library. <laughs> Excuse me? That's what? right. What? That's what? right. Excuse me? <laughs> That's why Tim uses a Kindle. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, le like legit Kindle, not like the... <laughs> it's because he's burning stuff all the time. <laughs> I have a question for sponsor. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, I have a question though. Do you think next episode we will we will we see Masato and like will you think she'll close this out, or I will she like so. or will she even do something about it, or do you think it's like uh, it's too late? Like you know, what do you think? What's what do you guys think that Sena's actually gonna do next episode regarding oh. this? Her what feelings. What is she gonna do? Yeah. I think <laughs> next episode, she's not really going to do anything. I think she's going to keep asking for advice on what to do. <laughs> and then probably two episodes later. So like, I guess for us is episode 19. I guess that's when she's going to start doing something. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, honestly, knowing Sena and how she's been when it came to like even just telling everyone else. I feel like if she's gonna do it, there's gonna be so much hesitation and it's gonna be dragged out so much because she's mm -hmm. gonna be like, I wanted to tell you something. And he'll be like, okay, yeah, what is it? And she'll be like, <laughs> <laughs> and then she's gonna start crying. And then, that's just, and then they cut to commercial. I don't, I don't know. Oh my God. <laughs> I thought you were gonna do this. You're gonna be like, I have to tell you something. <laughs> she cackles man she cackles like I, I'll never forget her now I was like well we did kiss <laughs> like when Sena said that I was like this girl holy oh, moly God. but uh yeah I, I, I agree I don't think she's she's gonna play this off it's not a it's not closed she's probably gonna milk it no yep and 100%. play the game until the new guy comes in, which is like, I forgot, there's still a new guy that needs to come. Oh, yeah. Oh, right. It's only five yeah. people, yeah. And yeah, that was the episode. Oh my gosh, that was a, it was a, that was a mouthful full of cackles and like a hat saying hello. Thank you so much, guys, <laughs> for joining us in this episode of We The Panel, a Terrace House podcast. But before we go um we do want to find out hey um specific to the guy that's modeling right now tim <laughs> before oh, we go what do you mean modeling <laughs> look just... at the, so naturally in your pose if, um <laughs> ooh, the guns are out oh, how can uh people find you out in the internet if they want to know more about you, your pretty boy self um yeah if you guys are interested in what i do which is not much on the internet uh you can take a look at my personal insta which is uh timbit1997 it'll be right here down below i and... got it right <laughs> oh wow you legit got it right <laughs> and then i also have a youtube channel with one video as of right now but uh, we're working on it and uh yeah um that's down below too yeah. Cool, cool. And of course, we still need to know the resident TikToker. Oh, Is TikTok hi. still a thing? Because, like, anyways, like, Jessica, <laughs> yeah, tell us, TikTok, what's up? And how can we reach you in the internet? I mean, okay, TikTok is still a thing. 
I'm just not using it that often, so I don't think you would need to follow me on TikTok. <laughs> it's because I'm not making videos. I'm too busy with school, but you know. So you can find me on Insta. <laughs> if you want, you can follow me on TikTok. They're both at Cheska Camille underscore. Okay. All right. Yeah. Um, and also, if you guys want to know what I'm doing, I've been uh playing a lot of uh Genshin Impact or a lot of free games in the internet right now. <laughs> Regardless, I play games uh for Jiggles TV. Oh, crap, I did it again. <laughs> Twitch TV slash for Jiggles. Yeah, get it. Description's down below. But really, Word. I don't really do much lately these times. Just play video games and yeah. But uh, of course, last but not least, we got the James. I know you got something to say, and I'm going to, you know, lead us out, because how do people find you in the internet? Yeah, you can find me on my Instagram at jamesjt underscore 27. You can also find my personal YouTube channel where I finally have an upload schedule. <laughs> I'm uploading every Ooh. other week. I try to upload what? at least three times a month. Um, I will have uh, sometime next year. I'm planning to upload every week. For that entire month we're gonna see how that goes or i post music um and other stuff depending on how i feel and yeah that's that'll be in the description down below but more importantly this is the other reminder that we are available wherever you can find your podcasts so whether that whether that be spotify anchor i'm still trying to work on apple Podcasts. it's hard to get <laughs> there but I'm, I'm working on it but you can find us on Spotify at We The Panel. You can find us on Anchor at anchor.fm slash we dash the dash panel. Yeah. <laughs> and, that. Once again, yeah. and once again, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening to We The Panel, a Terrace House podcast. We will see you guys again next time. Sleep warmly <laughs> and wear a mask. Bye. Bye. Bye.